Hi, this is Pat Fortino at RightNowDesign.com and this tutorial, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to move a Joomla website <coughs> manually. So we'll just use the cPanel and copy all the Joomla website files from the web server and download them and export the database from the Joomla from the cPanel and download that and then go to the new site and upload the zip file of the website files we created <coughs> and then import the database and finally make some modifications to the configuration file. It's really pretty easy to do and um, you should be able to do it even if you're not a technical web person. Okay let's get started here. So you log into the cPanel for your website. Now this is a standard cPanel. That's the actual brand name. If you use GoDaddy or Network Solutions or one of these other web hosting companies that make their own cPanel, then you'll have to find the equivalent of a file manager. <clears throat> and almost all of them will come with some access to PHP My Admin. But it's probably not going to look like this cPanel. So start out with I'll get to the file manager, which is right here and uh, I'm going to go into the site where I that I want to copy and you can see there's all the Joomla files in here and I'm going to click select all and then I'll click compress and I'm going to name it to move site.zip and I'll say compress and I'll get to select the type and then click compress okay once it's finished you're gonna find a your file in there move site and I'm gonna click the download button to download it and I'll just stick it on my desktop and click save and it'll start downloading and while I'm waiting for that to download I'm gonna go over and get the database so I have several databases here, but I want the database for J16. So once that's selected, I go to the export button and click custom and just click on that to make sure I'll click select all and then save as output file. Save output to a file and I want to compress it to zipped. And one other thing I select that might not be selected is add drop table. That way if you have anything in the table from uh, a previous installation, it'll remove those and overwrite it with Joomla. So I'm going to export the database now, and this can take a few seconds depending on the speed of your server. So we got this SQL file here again. I'll save it to my desktop. And so now, looks like the zip is downloaded. So then I have to log into the cPanel for my for the host that I'm moving it to and again um, with your cPanel uh, you may have a different kind of cPanel a lot of web hosts like Bluehost, HostGator, HostMonster, DreamHost they all have the standard cPanel. The nice thing about getting this kind of host is once you learn it you don't have to keep learning when you go to a different host you'll understand how to use it. So I'm going to go into the file manager and uh, upload the file. So I click on the file manager button and got to go to the website run loader. I'm going to load it into this website and up on the panel here there's an upload button. I click that and I choose a file. Um, one, other, one thing to keep in mind there is a limit to 500 megabytes probably your site isn't going to be bigger that bigger than that but if it is then you're going to have to upload it with FTP so go to desktop and let's see I have um, let's see there it is move site open and so it's starting the upload 
Um, and while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to import the database. So go back to my cPanel and go to PHP my admin. and find the database name that you want to import into. I'm going to import into this one. Uh, you can see this one already has some stuff in it, so that drop table will help in this. Um, so actually what I'll do though first here is I'll check all and I'm going to drop all these tables. So when you do this, make sure it's the right database that you want because this is going to delete the database. So I'm going to delete all of these out of this big easy database. Click yes. Okay and now we have no tables in this database. So I'll go to import and choose file and here's my zip file of the database. I'm going to click open and you can leave all the defaults and click go and you have to give that a, a second to upload. Meanwhile let's see if our file has uploaded in here. You can come in here and click reload. Uh, it still must be uploading that. Um, Okay, so my database is now ready. It's finished importing. It says it made 500 and something queries and here's the tables. So we'll go back to the file manager and let's see if it's... there it is. Okay, so it finished uploading. So um, click on the zip file of your... these are all the Joomla website files and go over here and click the extract button. Again, if you have a different kind of cPanel, there'll be some kind of an uncompress or extract archive function usually uh, that allows you to uncompress the zip file. So this is just asking me where I want it to do. It By default, it starts in the directory you're in, so it's pretty safe, big easy, so we want to extract it here. Okay, and it's going to do its thing here, and then it gives me a message, you know, showing me it output all the files. Okay, so so far we have the we have imported the database over here and we've extracted the files and now we have to edit the configuration.php file to put the correct settings in it. So we're going to click on this and click edit. Okay, once I click the edit button there's several things I have to change. The database name, possibly the database host, the database username, and the password. So the user um, on this website is um, and the password put in the correct password And the database name is six and localhost on on HostGator and on Bluehost and HostMonster. It's usually localhost. On GoDaddy, you're going to have to find out your database host name. You can always call the host to get that. Okay, so we got that changed. The next thing we need to change is the path. Okay. Um, and here everything is going to be the same. Uh, you may, you know, you could have to change any of this. And again, you'll have to check with your host which one it is. But mainly what you need to do is the logs will stay the same and the temp will stay the same. You just have to give the full path to it. And if you don't know how to do that, call your host. Um, so this will be big, big, easy. And they'll both be the same. and then click Save Changes. Okay, if you get this message, 
That means that <clears throat> Joomla, usually when you, through the Joomla admin, if you make modifications to some of the settings, it'll make the file unwritable. Uh, it'll change it to 444, so we need to change it to 644. So I'll click OK, go back to the File Manager, select configuration.php, and click Change Permissions. And we're going to make it writable by the user, and we'll click Change Permission. Now when I go back in here, I should be able to save it. So I'll click Save again. Okay, that time I get the success message, and now we'll test the site. Okay, here, let's see, I'll type in my, um, that's the name of the Joomla website that I copied. Okay, so now this is the website that was on uh, J1.6, and now it's on a new website, everything's here. The links are working. Uh, we're all set. So that's how you move a Joomla website. Just to go over it quickly again, first you go to the cPanel and zip up all of the Joomla website files which are in your the root of your Joomla website. Um, two, open PHP My Admin and export the Joomla database and download it to your desktop. Um, and then log in to the control panel of your new host and upload the Joomla website files, the zip files you created, and extract them in the in the website root and then import the database and use PHP my admin to import the database you downloaded. Um, and finally, edit the configuration file. You have to change the temp and log paths to match those on your server. You have to, and you have to change the database settings to match the new database. And that's it. I hope this helps you move a Joomla website. Thanks for listening.